Hi everyone. This is Dr. Jivir Shashiro, professor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Hyderabad. So, in previous sessions, we have discussed about engineering tribology subject. In this subject, we have studied, uh, we have discussed various topics like uh, friction, wear and lubrication, corrosion and materials. But today, in this topic, I want to discuss about uh, numerical problems related to this friction, wear and uh, lubrication. So, so, so some uh, small uh, numericals are there. Sometimes uh, they will ask on these topics in the numericals. So, we will see in this session the numerical problems related to engineering tribology. So, covering topics such as friction, wear and lubrication. So, in this, the problems will cover friction problems, wear problems and lubrication problems. So, how to calculate the frictional force and wear and lubrication uh, we will see. So, problem 1, frictional force calculation. So, uh, sometimes they, they will ask uh, friction force calculation only, calculate the frictional force. So, the given uh, data is a block of mass 5 kg is placed on a horizontal surface. So, horizontal surface this one and uh, placed on a block. This is a block. This is having mass 5 kg placed on horizontal surface. The coefficient of static friction measures between the block and the surface. The block and the surface the friction is mu is the static fr friction is 0.3. So, already we have studied about friction. There are two types of static friction kin kin kinetic friction. So, in this uh, the static friction is when the block is in stationary. Uh, what is the friction uh, value between these two surfaces? The coefficient of kinetic friction between the block and the surface kinetic friction when it is uh, um, applying uh, after applying the force that is 0.25. So, the given uh, values are like this. So, we need to calculate frictional force. How do you calculate the frictional force? So, you know the frictional force is frictional coefficient of friction multiplied with uh, mu rm that is uh, normal reaction force. This normal reaction force acting opposite to the, the frictional, opposite to the gravitational force and then this is the frictional force. So, supplying force like this, you know, so the frictional force calculation with the multiply with the coefficient of friction. So, here what he has asked the maximum static frictional force. So, what is the maximum static friction and then frictional force when the block is in motion. So, that is a Kinetic friction. First one is static friction uh, and the block is uh, stationary static force. The solution is the maximum force. How do you calculate? The maximum static force is given by F is equal to static frictional force mu into mu is mu into m into g. So that is mg that uh, mass is given the way g is uh, 9.81 meters per uh, second square acceleration due to gravity. Always, uh, always adds downwards. So, now calculate the frictional static force by substituting the above given values. Your mass is 5 and uh, the block of your static friction is 0.3. So, calculate here the static friction is equal to 0 0.3, 0 0.3 multiply with 5 kg, 5 kg into 9.81 meters per second clear so you will get a static frictional force similarly kinetic frictional force is given by though here only need to substitute the kinetic uh, friction coefficient of friction so mu k into m into g so uh, the kind of kinetic uh, the coefficient of friction is mu k into uh, mg here substitute fk is equal to the surface 0.25 multiply with uh, 5 
multiply with 5 multiply with 9.81 so you will get frictional force in newtons kinetic frictional force is uh, uh, will get in a newtons so like this uh, you need to calculate uh, the frictional force uh, problems next problem 2 the wear volume calculation how do you calculate the wear volume a steel pin slides against a steel plate with a load of 100 newtons. The sliding distance is 500 meters. So the wear coefficient is 1 into 10 to the power of minus height mm cube plus uh, upon newton meter 10 to the power of 8. So in this, he has asked the find the wear volume. So the wear volume is given by V is equal to K into L into D. So now we will see what is this, uh, uh, how to calculate, uh, how much value will you get, we will see. So V is K already you know the wear coefficient and L is uh, given in a problem with the load and D is the sliding distance. The sliding distance is 500 meter. The steel pin, pin Slides against a steel plate. So this is uh, uh, this this type of problem you can uh, observe in a pin-on disc test. A pin-on the pin-on disc test uh, in, uh, the testing mission is used to calculate the wear, wear volume, and frictional force. So in this in the numerical problem, he has given the values, the distance and the load also given. Need to calculate only wear volume, how much wear happened. The given by uh, by using this uh, KLD formula. So next in this uh, substitute, the K is uh, 10 to the power of minus 8 and L is 100 newtons and the D is the 500 meters. So you will get the final uh, volume in terms of uh, mm cube. Problem 3 related to lubrication film thickness. So lubrication film thickness, this type of problems generally you can uh, see in uh, mechanical engineering bearings problems. If general bearing has a sharp diameter, the sharp diameter is uh, 50 mm and a length is 100 mm. The diameter of the shaft is 50 and length of the bearing is 100. The shaft rotates at the speed is 1500 rpm. So the lubricant viscosity given 0.1 Pascal. The radial clearance C, the radial clearance between the shaft and the bearing is 0.1 mm, that is radial clearance RC. So this problem is related to general bearing. So in this, the general bearing having a shaft and a length and it rotates a with the speed 1500 and the viscosity, the lubrication oil uh, present there in between the shaft and the journal, the journal rotates inside the shaft. So that is uh, uh, the viscosity is 0.1. So radial clearance is given. Now need to calculate the lubrication film thickness. So how do you calculate the minimum lubrication film thickness denoted by H minimum? So the H minimum, the minimum film thickness in the hydrodynamic lubrication can be estimated using the following formula. So what is that formula? H minimum is equal to C into 1 by 1 plus 2 pi n d viscosity by L into P already given in this. So where P is the bearing pressure. For this problem, assume a uniform pressure distribution. So uniform wear and a uniform present distribution uh, is there. So, we assume this uh, condition, this uh, uniform present distribution. So, based on this uh, condition, need to calculate uh, the, the minimum lubrication film thickness. See, so in this, uh, need to substitute all values only in this n, uh, already you know. So, substitute uh, all values in this and uh, calculate, uh, calculate the value h uh, minimum, h minimum that is C into, so what is uh, C here, given the radial uh, clearance that is 0.1 multiplied by 1 plus 2 pi speed is, speed is 1500, 1500, uh, 1500 rpm multiply with diameter 50 mm and uh, the viscosity 0.1, 0.1 
point one divided by divided by L into P length. So length is hundred mm and P is the bearing pressure. So bearing pressure here not given. So the bearing pressure uh, uh, need to uh, assume the bearing uh, pressure here. So otherwise uh, they will give here assume this uh, bearing pressure value the two point five something. So you will get a minimum uh, lubrication field thickness. Next surface roughness measurement. So here surface roughness uh, profile is measured and the arithmetic uh, mean roughness value the roughness average is found to be 2 micrometer and the total average length is 10 mm. So here find the average roughness height over the total evaluated length. So what is the average uh, roughness height over the total evaluated length. So in this the solution the arithmetic mean roughness is given by the equation the average uh, rough values 1 by L integral 0 to L y of x into dx. So here yx is the roughness profile and L is the evaluated length. So x is the roughness profile. For a simplified calculation, if the roughness profile can be approximated by discrete measurements, it can be found by averaging the absolute values of the deviations from the mean line. So this can values can be found by averaging the absolute values of the deviations uh, from the mean line. So R i is equal to 1 by L 0 to L y of x into dx. So the arithmetic mean uh, roughness, the average value of the roughness you can uh, calculate uh, by using this uh, formula. So here the roughness profile is measured, the measured values are given to micrometer and 10 mm the evaluated length, mean arithmetic mean roughness. So substitute uh, these values in this and uh, you can calculate. So next problem related to bearing uh, load capacity. So hydrodynamic uh, bearing supports a radial load that is 2000 Newton. The general diameter 75 mm. 75 mm and the length is 100 mm and the lubricant uh, viscosity is given 0 0.05 Pascal second. So in this uh, need to calculate the bearing load capacity. The general rotate such a speed 1000 rpm and the radial clearance is 0.15 mm. Already we have seen in a previous uh, slide problem but that is a uh, general bearing case but in this he has asked bearing uh, uh, load capacity. So in this uh, previous uh, problem, he has asked the coefficient of uh, um, oil film thickness. So that is called as minimum oil thickness. But in this, in this um, uh, bearing, you need to calculate uh, how much capacity uh, required the bearing load. So uh, that is calculated based on the given values. So next, find the load capacity of the bearing. The load capacity of the hydrodynamic bearing can be found by using the Sommerfeld number. The Sommerfeld number identified here. So in this uh, uh, year, you can calculate the, so the load capacity by using this relation where P is the bearing pressure. The bearing pressure, uh, epsilon, the, uh, eta is the viscosity, you know, n is the speed and diameter of the um, journal and C is the radial clearance square upon P. P is the bearing pressure. So the load capacity can then be estimated based on the bearing design charts or empirical formulas that relates the Sommerfeld number to the load capacity. So here see problem 1 the film thickness in a general bearing. So general bearing has the following specifications. One is a general diameter, bearing length, 150 mm, 100 mm, and radial clearance is 0.1 mm. The general speed is 1500 rpm. 
the lubricant viscosity is 0.02 pascal second so in this the film thickness already we have seen in the previous uh, slides so what is the film thickness in a journal bearing that is uh, h naught for the given diameter 100 mm for the given uh, length bearing length is uh, 150 mm the radial clearance is uh, 0.1 mm the general speed is 1500 rpm so now calculate what is asked minimum film thickness and the maximum film thickness so one is minimum film thickness another one is maximum film thickness so in this first you calculate the minimum film thickness by using this uh, formula the minimum uh, film thickness is equal to 1 c into 1 minus epsilon where c is the radial clearance and epsilon is the eccentricity ratio eccentricity ratio there is a there, there is a eccentricity between the journal and diameter when it uh, uh, starts to rotate uh, so the eccentricity value you need to calculate assuming the full hydrodynamic lubrication this eccentricity can be estimated using the Sommerfeld number so we have seen the Sommerfeld number in the previous uh, slide so detailed uh, the bearing design uh, 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 available in a uh, mechanical engineering design so we but uh, not that much of our design not required for here for your uh, knowledge only so how to calculate minimum, minimum film th uh, thickness so, uh, so so that you need to uh, use this uh, formulas only formal derivations not not required which is a more advanced concept that is Sommerfeld number. However, in many cases, the, the minimum thickness can be, volume thickness can be estimated as approximately the radial clearance itself. That is a rough approximation. So, that is H minimum is equal to 0.1 mm, the minimum oil film uh, thickness. So, the maximum film thickness. So, in minimum film thickness, H minimum is equal to c into 1 minus epsilon but in the case of uh, maximum so the maximum thickness is equal to c into 1 plus epsilon see already you know the radial clearance and uh, the so the epsilon a e, epsilon is the eccentricity ratio so the maximum film thickness its maximum is equal to c into 1 plus epsilon assuming the epsilon is equal to 0.8 the typical value for hydrodynamic uh, lubrication the h max is equal to calculate now the given the 0.1 how much given here 0.1 radial clearance c and then uh, they assume this uh, epsilon value 0.8 typical value for hydrodynamic lubrication so now you will get a 0.18 mm next problem two present distribution in a slider bearing a slider bearing with the following specifications a sliding a slider bearing is nothing but uh, sliding bearings sliding uh, contact bearings and uh, rolling contact bearings. two types of bearings are there in bearing topics so bearing length given bearing width 200 mm and uh, sliding speed 5 meters per second the lubricant viscosity 0 0.015 pascal second and film thickness is 0 0.02 mm so in this the film thickness also given in this case so calculate the maximum pressure developed in the lubrication field so he has asked maximum pressure developed inside the lubrication field how do you calculate see by using this uh, maximum uh, pressure formula you need to calculate for bearing length l and uh, width and the speed n with the w or uh, b and the lubricant uh, viscosity and uh, film thickness soil film thickness that is its minimum so 0 0.02 mm clear so now the maximum pressure in a sliding contact bearing can be by using the Reynolds equation 
an aerodynamic lubrication. The Reynolds equation shown here P max is equal to sig 6 eta UL by H square. So, you have dynamic viscosity 0.015 Pascal second, sliding speed 5 meters per second, length of the bearing 300 mm, and uh, film thickness that is 0.02 mm. So, the maximum the pressure is the maximum pressure is after substituting the above values, you will get this value 6 into so substitute the 6 into 0 0.015 is the dynamic viscosity given in your problem 0 0.015 Pascal second. Next uh, into u is the, the sliding speed, you can uh, use n also 6 eta n l by h minimum square. So, this is uh, p max. So, 5 and point 3 is the length of the bearing the given in the length of the bearing 300 mm. So, that is uh, convert into meters point 3 divided by film thickness. The film thickness is given in mm. So, need to calculate in uh, meters. So, after substituting you will get this uh, maximum pressure in terms of uh, Pascal, Pascal is, and then convert into 1 mega Pascal. So, like this you need to calculate the problems related to uh, this uh, bearing, sliding bearing and oil film thickness and then uh, maximum film thickness general bearing problems, the load capacity of the bearing and the bearing load capacity and then uh, surface roughness measurement. So, detailed surface roughness uh, calculation we will see in the uh, next uh, video. So, these are the references I have taken for this uh, problem. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.